David Schindler has spent his long career exposing uncomfortable truths about the damage modern life is inflicting on our environment. From the deadly effects of phosphorus on freshwater fish, to the blight of acid rain, to the contamination of the Athabasca River, he has always been there with solid and carefully collected scientific evidence, hoping to influence policy that protects our fragile ecosystems. In this feature documentary film, The Tipping Point, U of A alumnus Tom Radford and his partner Niobe Thompson of Clearwater Documentary followed Schindler in his fight for better environmental monitoring of the oil sands industry. We spent months intercalibrating our measurements with those by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Association. Our other analyses were all done by certified laboratories because they're the only kind of evidence that will stand up in court. We've covered our bases in a lot of ways that most university research wouldn't. Schindler has never been afraid to speak his mind, staunchly defending scientific proof even when it's landed him in hot water with government and industry. It doesn't seem to matter how good a research plan we put together. We're supposed to believe that they have a database out there somewhere that refutes everything that we've shown. Well, we have our data out there for public display. Let's see theirs. So we set out here to deliberately test this claim that uh, all of the pollutants were natural and that industry was adding nothing. Time and again, Schindler has insisted scientists have an obligation to clearly communicate their findings for the public good. Here he is advocating for tougher oil sands regulation. Almost any toxic element on the periodic table is in coke. With all of this competing data, how are ordinary citizens able to di digest that? I think industry likes it that way. As long as there's confusion, there won't be any regulation. I've seen this with phosphates and detergents, with acid rain, with big tobacco. We're seeing it as we speak with climate. It's a standard industry tactic. Get all sorts of voices so there's a muddle. It appears that the teeter-totter swings. It doesn't tip one way. And every year that you can get away with lack of regulation is a few billion more bucks in your pocket. After 40 years, I'm pretty sick of seeing this tactic fool people time after time. Maybe we all did just fall off a turnip truck. As he retires this month, Schindler can rest assured that his work has been vindicated, helping to usher in a new federal monitoring system for the oil sands. All of this has led to a real tipping point. The monitoring is finally good enough that uh, people will be able to see these things happening. Science always bats last. It's not like a hockey game where you, know, you win one this night and lose one the next night. You just have to be patient because uh, it takes a while to get science in. And it's gonna show you're either right or you're wrong.